Most agents absolutely hate their leads. One of the biggest questions I get is, Cody, how can I improve the leads that I'm getting? I'm gonna walk through how we have improved and revolutionized tons of leads that we are doing. I'm gonna go through literally eight different things that you can do. I've got a special bonus at the end for those that stick around. I'm gonna specifically share that will change the way you see leads forever, okay? And now, before I go through these, I'm also doing this because we've rolled out our new lead brand, KaboomLeads.com. We've implemented these eight strategies in our leads, and we are getting so many positive feedbacks. Are, are any leads perfect? No, right? Will somebody buy leads and not make a sale? Sure, however, I've gotten way more positive feedbacks and screenshots and videos. Dude, someone was in our office this morning saying, uh, literally, our, the turning 65 leads you have are the best we've ever seen. Contact rate's insane. One guy sold seven out of our, our, our 20 uh, term life leads. Another guy sold his very first final expense lead. Um, overall, we've also got another guy that's doing our annuity leads that is literally written millions in premium already uh, for annuities. So, so when it comes to like leads and appointments, these are some of the things we're doing. And I wanna share these because there's a lot of wins happening. Dude, when people start winning, start having fun. I would agree that when you win, you have more fun. Fair? Well, dude, why don't we help you win more so that you have more fun? Because you got into this career because you want to freaking make it. I'm going to help you make it. Okay, I am. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, first, two phone numbers. The biggest struggle with leads. Tell me if in comments if I'm wrong, man, the or if I'm right. The biggest problem with leads is getting a hold of the prospect. I had another agent that is working our leads right now that just reported back to our team and said that I got a hold of 19 out of my 20 leads. I had another one of my buddies, right, that's working, Nate, that's working our IUL leads. He got a hold of 75 to 80% of his leads. Contact rates that went through the roof on these leads. There are, and the vendors are like, it's interesting because I used to ask the question and say, well, what can I do as a vendor to help someone on the other end of the phone answer it? Well, that was the wrong question because when I asked that question, there, there was nothing at the point I couldn't force the person in, Wisconsin to like pick up the phone, right? When you're calling them. However, there are things you can do to help the contact rate. There's a bunch of things and I'm gonna go through those right now, okay? One is two phone numbers. So we have we have a, we, with this, we literally, I'm giving you all the secrets right now um, that, have, that have totally revolutionized what we're doing leads, kaboomleads.com, okay? Also, I'm gonna, also with, with Kaboom, the reason why we did that is it's CA and then boom, right? Which is, I say, my initials are CA, Right? And I say boom all of the time. And so kaboom leads, okay? Really cool place. You can just, you can see everything. There's a ton of information on there. You can buy leads right from the website. Crazy, right? Two phone numbers. This is very important. We have a, we have a um, secondary phone number that we ask, right? Which is good just in case there's a different number. However, we even put what is your preferred contact number? I even put in, in, the, in, the, in the form, I even put, if we can't reach you, we can't help you. Because if you can't reach them, dude, you can't help them. Fair? So two phone numbers. This has been revolutionary to what we're doing. If, if people are not doing it, then I'm telling you, we've been, we've been implementing this strategy with all of our Legion clients too. It's working. This is a big one, okay, number one. Number two is an immediate text to the agent. Like, it could hit your CRM or it can hit the Google Sheet, right? It can hit your email, but I don't have notifications on for my sheets. I don't have notifications on for my email. You can email right now. Dude, I ain't gonna see it unless I log in, okay? Because I get 4,000 notifications a day, fair? Um, the, the, the CRM thing, I'm not gonna notice unless I go in there, you know what I mean? Or, or like I get an email maybe, maybe about it, but at the end of the day, an immediate text to the agent, literally, as soon as they fill it out, boom, your phone is buzzing. Right, there's a new life insurance lead, right? Or final expense lead, or Medicare, right? Or we got some Spanish stuff, right? IUL has been big, et cetera. And so specifically, this strategy of texting the agent immediately, it's been a big help, okay? Number three, is it immediate? This one's, this one is mind blowing that I didn't do this sooner and that other people aren't doing this. It, you, know, you know why they're not doing it? I'll explain it too. There's one reason why vendors do not know other vendor other than me that I know that actually does this. And the big reason why, most of you don't know this, okay, immediate text to the prospect. We actually say, hey, John Doe, you, your life insurance request has went to 
Cody Askins has went to your agent name, right? Whatever your, whatever your name is, right? And he will be in touch with you in the next 24 to 48 hours. Only speak to him. He's been assigned to help you. Only speak to him, right? Amazing text. And what's really cool about that is there's a few things that's happening. One, it ups the credibility of the source. Two, it lets the prospect know who's reaching out to them so that when you say your name, they've seen your name a bunch, right? And we're texting the prospect immediately when a lead comes through. Here's why vendors don't do this and it's gonna be uncompliant in the future. I'm just telling you. Biggest reason why, why, why vendors are not doing this. Here's why they get a big X and they don't do this. Here's why. Because you've got this, you've got this funnel of leads, okay? Here's how this works. Leads are coming into the funnel from all different places, okay, whatever. They're going through the funnel and then they're deciding which agent or multiple agents that get the lead, okay? It's, instead, the way our funnel works is I build you a ad, I build you an ad, a lead comes in and it goes straight to you. One lead, one agent. FTC is talking about FCC, all this. They're talking about the communication. They're talking about uh, at the feds. They're talking about one-to-one -one consent. It's literally going to be rolled out in August. It's going to be implemented in January of 2025. We build a new campaign for every agent. Other eight other vendors. I know big ones, man. They're, they're, they're sh they have they have a they, they have a couple of different ads, and then once it goes through the funnel and they become a lead, they're sending it to different agents but they don't know who's gonna get the lead. That's why they cannot tell the prospect who the agent is. It will be uncompliant, they ain't doing it, we are doing it, because it also helps you. Do any way we can innovate this and freaking blow it up, that's what we're here to do, okay? This has been ridiculous game changer. Ridiculous, ask your vendor why they can't do it. Ask your vendor why they can't do it, because they freaking can't, man. Because soon they're gonna be uncompliant, because they're trying to have one funnel and then sharing all these leads with people. Also, dude, it's, it's more efficient, it's more cost effective. But dude, I'm in, I'm in the agent success business. I don't care if it's more efficient, or like if we have to build more or it costs more per lead, I'm in the agent success business and the agent compliant business. I've been sued enough. I'm done being sued, okay? It will happen again, yes, right? If Dylan could protect me from it, that'd be amazing. It's gonna happen again, don't do it, but it's gonna, and I mean, I ain't encouraging it, but dude, when you build a business, it happens. But if we can avoid them, by being compliant, why would you not? Number four, a picture of you as the agent. Dude, you can literally send in a, a, a portrait of you, right? W with an 8% cap on, okay? You know what I mean? That's a terrible hat, okay? However, uh, a picture of you, I'm trying to draw what Dylan's got on his head and that ain't it, okay? I'm just gonna tell you, right? <laughs> However, okay, that's all right, that's okay, let's leave it. However, a picture of you, helps so much, man. It helps so much because they can see you through the process. It's important, is it the, is it the like end all be all? No, but it's important, okay? So a picture of the agent. When you're going through kaboomleads.com, you can actually go and put, do you want a picture? Yes, and then you can physically upload a photograph of you. It's cool, okay, it's cool. Next is mentioning your name five plus times. The agent, through the camp, th th through the ad, the lead form, the thank you page, and not even including the text that we do, which is gangster, by the way, okay? We mention your name as the agent five plus times, and we tell the prospect, here's who you've been assigned to, here's who's gonna help you, here's who the expert is, here's the only person you should talk to, right, which has been big, and then we tell them, hey, if you wanna skip the line and call John Doe right now, click below and call John to speak with him. And then we're encouraging inbound calls. One of our agents, agencies, um, Stephen, my buddy Stephen Robinson, he got seven inbound calls, seven inbound calls out of his first 17 turning 65 Medicare leads. Dude, that's insane. That's a really high. Most people are getting like a, I would say the average is like one in eight. Dude, that's a lot better than one in eight, okay, which is cool. Okay, so number six, inbound calls. That's where we're, we're encouraging them to call you after they fill out the form. Incredible. Number seven, transparent ads. Okay, transparent ads is a big one because there's so many ways to get around this thing. Like for our term, li our life insurance, our term life. It literally says that there are life insurance plans that are meant for income replacement for parents. 
that it's it's a it's a niche, right? And it, and it's it's something that is crushing it for us right now when it comes to life insurance. We have different tons of different types. We have like 15, 16 different options. We even help with recruiting. Licensed Medicare, licensed life, unlicensed, like we are doing a lot of different things. But transparent ads are important because I feel like your industry is always trying to trick or get one over on somebody, you know, or, or do this or do that. Transparent ads is very important. I'm not playing the trickery game. You know what I mean? Like I want to help someone win. That's it. I don't want to trick. Okay. You don't need a trick to win, by the way. You don't need the super secret trick. You just need to do the right thing. Okay. Honestly, like when I'm, when I'm more transparent and I just, I'm just honest and vulnerable, my marketing actually does well. Dude, why do you think, why do you think we built a big, bigger brand than most people in the industry? And, and we've done really well with the brand It's because Dylan and I and the team are actually just telling you what you need to know versus like hiding stuff behind the curtain. Dude, people resonate with my personality because I, I just share and I can't help it. So if you don't want me, you don't, if you want, don't want somebody to know something, there's a secret, dude, don't tell me. Okay. Number seven. Number eight is the bonus. Here's the bonus. We have 13 plus lead fields. 13 plus for every single one of these. Term life has 14. IUL has 14. Um, mortgage protection, which we just rolled out on Monday, has 14 as well, right? A bunch of really cool. Um, there's a bonus one, right? The extra fields. A big field for us, most people don't like this because it makes the lead costs go up, but adding favorite hobby still works, man. It still works. And we're getting a lot of success by feeding you their favorite hobby, right? That's been really cool. So when I think through all these fields, right? I'm actually going to pull up a sheet for, from one of our clients right now. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give you like all the details, but I'm going to give you some of them. Why? Because it's like, you know what? It's, it's important because at the end of the day, these are the things that are working. Like we just had a lead come in today is uh, it's 1246 PM at time we're recording this on the 9th. This came in at 1222. So 24 minutes ago, Joanne is the name. We've got her last name. This was for an agent, final expense. Last name, email, I'm looking at their sheet right now. Phone number, street address, city, state, zip code, date of birth, preferred contact number. And the preferred contact number is different than the main phone number. That's cool. Uh, what Also, the uh, what they're going to use the service, for the, the type this, this service for, cremation, burial, et cetera. Um, beneficiary, who's the benefit going to go to? Dude, that's great. Um, and it, it literally, there, people are putting names. Like, I want it to go to Trina. I want it to go to Charles, like I want it to go to Ashley Lee, like how cool is that? And then also favorite hobby, literally final expense, 13 fields. And so we're, we're constantly looking for ways to improve what we're doing. You can go to kaboomleads.com to learn more about how we've improved leads for you and how you should be using this to improve leads for you as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it with somebody else. Dude, there's so many people that need to see this, freaking share this thing. Leave a comment, say, bro, best video ever if you enjoyed it. Or if there's other content you would like us to shoot, let us know and we will get back in the lab and do it again. Either way, we'll see you at Kaboom Leap. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. I'm so excited for today's CA Power Player Podcast. I'm your host, Cody Askins. We got a special guest, he is back on the channel talking about how to sell life insurance from home. Here's what I, well, here's what I love about this person. Okay, I'm telling you, this will be the, one of the best.